what is going on Minecraft Java Edition players that have a Steam Deck and want to play Minecraft Java Edition on their Steam Deck. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that very easily, I might add, using, you guessed it, your Steam Deck. Isn't this freaking awesome that you can play Java Minecraft on the Steam Deck? Somebody asked me this a while ago, and now I figured it out after laying in bed, bugging my wife, playing Java Minecraft on my Steam Deck. So let's jump in and learn how to set this up because it doesn't take that long, especially if you want to use a controller and you can use the mouse and you can use the touch, which is also freaking awesome. So the very first thing we're going to do when you're in the game mode, you're going to click on the Steam button on your device, as you can see in the bottom right hand side of my screen. Now you're going to go all the way down to power and you're going to go to desktop mode. Don't worry, we can actually go back to game mode later, but we need to set everything up in Prism. We need to set everything up in desktop mode first. Or if you have a mouse and keyboard, you can use a mouse and keyboard and tinker with all the settings in game mode in the future. I know it has a mouse on the device, but it's really buggy when you try to use Prism Launcher, which is what we're gonna be using here today when you're in game mode. So that's why I highly recommend you to get everything set up in desktop mode, or you can just play in desktop mode, which is very easy to do as well. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is click on the application launcher on the bottom left-hand side, and you're gonna go to the search bar. You're gonna open up your keyboard and you're going to look for Prism Launcher. So P, R, I, and I think it's Z but, oh no, it's not. Okay, maybe it is spelt the right way. Prism Launcher, get Prism Launcher. Click on it, double click on it. And then you're gonna go click on install from Flathub, which is on the top right hand side of the screen. Wait for it to install and do its thing. But take note of the facts right now. If you don't own a Java Minecraft account, you have to buy the game to actually play online and stuff like that or play in general. Otherwise you can only play the demo mode. This method is also for those that want to play with the built-in controller for Java Minecraft. If you don't want to use a built-in controller, you can skip all the controllable stuff, which is going to be a mod that we're going to install and just play with a mouse and keyboard either on your Steam Deck or on the big screen. Now that that's installed, because I have fast internet, we're gonna click on lunch. I mean, launch. Sorry, I'm kind of hungry. I haven't eaten much today. Now we're going to click on our language. I'm going to click on American English. 100% of people usually use it, or they use cute English. I don't know what that means, but that's interesting. Now click on next, <laughs> click next again, and click on add Microsoft account. Now you're going to either sign in with your Microsoft account and email and password, or you can scan the QR code with your phone. If you have a phone that has a QR scanner, if it doesn't, then just download an app. Now, once you log in, you'll be prompted and everything will just start fetching your account and you'll get your username fetched as well in the top right hand side. Mr. DNA is my username. So there you go. If you want to ever add me on like essentials mod or play with me anywhere, or you can check out my server or you can keep watching this video because I'm giving away a Minecraft account during this guide. Yeah, I'm actually giving away a Minecraft account and I've been giving away a few of them lately because I think it's a little bit easier and more fun to give away games on the channel rather than giving away devices because it's getting very expensive to send things globally across the world. That being said, if you got that free Java Minecraft account, congratulations. Now, what we're gonna do on the top left-hand side is click on add instance. Now, once you open this up, this might get confusing to some people, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you and guide you along. Now, these are different instances of the game. So you can play like older game versions and stuff like that, but I highly recommend you just to start small and start with the latest version as of today. So as long as you haven't heard about any bugs with the latest version, which is 1.21.10. Now on the right hand side, so that we can actually play this with a mod or an actual controller called mod, I mean a mod called controllable. Yeah, I sometimes get my words mixed up. You're gonna click on fabric. Now you're going to click okay. Now, usually when you're selecting a loader, which is on the right hand side, you're gonna want to make sure you take note of what date and time and everything like that and see if there's like a star beside it. And sometimes the star means that this is the most uh, stable version and up to date, even though it says release, this is the most up to date version that's actually stable and doesn't have any problems. Not always is that the case, but most times that is the case. So Fabric is what we're gonna install today, and we will talk more about other mod loaders later on in a playlist for the Steam Deck. Click on OK. Now you're going to click on the right hand side, it says Edit, right above where it says Change Group. This is going to allow us to install some mods. So on the left hand side, you can see mods, resource packs, shader packs, notes, worlds, servers, and all that fun jazz. 
Now I'll click on mods and in here you're going to click on download mods on the right hand side and now you're going to click on curse forge on the left hand side now the reason why we're going to curse forge first is because we're going to get the controllable mod and how we do that well we're going to go to the search for mods button here and you're going to type in controllable click on controllable <laughs> click select mod for download and review and confirm click ok now i highly recommend you to also go download mods and click on the fabric api and you're going to select mod for download and review and confirm and click ok now you're going to exit out of this part right here which is just for the actual mods and everything and you're going to click on the start button on your steam deck you're gonna long press on it okay and you should see your action on the bottom right hand side of the screen change to gamepad mode this is very important because we're going to be using gamepad mode to actually use the controllable mod properly and wait for the game to actually load before we actually get into it and let it download all the resources and everything like that because this takes a few seconds depending on your internet signal of course now my game started on my other screen as you can see in the bottom right hand side so i'm just going to show you it on the big screen so that you can actually see everything and i'm going to press my back button which is this button right here that just makes it so it's maximized by the way and <laughs> the full screens it whatever you want to call it so that you can see everything and then you're going to make sure that you're using your joystick and all your other buttons as you can see there is the cursor on the screen moving around now for the actual controllable mod you're going to go to options you're going to go to this icon right here on the right hand side and yes you can use your touch screen as well and you're going to go to settings and you can change your keybinds in here like for sneak mode depends on how risky you are i like to use toggle so that i can sneak when i press down on my left joystick for rotation speed that's your camera rotation speed if you think that you're rotating too slowly you can use your rb and lb buttons to change your sensitivity for your rotation speed yeah i'm going to use 69 just because i'm a child not really, I'm actually an adult, I'm just a man child, okay? I'm 36 years old with four kids. Yeah, <laughs> so button icons. You can change this to different button icons, maybe give it the effect that you're playing on a uh, GameCube or a Steam Deck. Yeah, you want it to be your Steam Deck? Okay, there you go. If you don't want any buttons, you can change it to none, all, minimal, whatever you want a case may be, okay? It's all up to you. Now for your actual key bindings, like there's your cursor speed. I like your cursor speed change too, so that it moves the cursor around a lot faster. But then again, you can also use your touch screen, which is freaking awesome. Now for your key bindings, which is this one right here, press your RT button and you can change things in here as well. You can also add key binds. So like if you have the Zoomify mod, if you know what that is, then you can add a key bind for a different mod or something like that so that it'll actually work. Now for movement, it doesn't show what the action is here, even though it'll work. I tested this out already. Just ignore this right now. Now, when it comes to gameplay and all that kind of stuff, you can change things. So closing my inventory, I like to change this. So I'm gonna press A on it and press my B button. For quick move, I like to change that to Y, okay? And that's just my preference, but it's up to you. Now, if you wanna change other things in here, all up to your preference, toggle the craft book, you can turn this off. So press X to clear it and all that kind of stuff. Now that means that you can show the craft book, but you can just touch the screen or hover over the craft book and open it. It's all up to you how you set this all up, okay? Now you can turn on and off quick crafting and quick move. Um, quick move is this button right here. Um, there's also, like I said, there's quick crafting. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, I think it's, that might be in our settings actually, if I remember correctly, quick craft. Quick craft is just basically if you start clicking on, oh, there it is right there. If you start clicking on an item, um, you can basically start crafting that item. But let's get into it now. Let's just go to single player and let's create our first world. And yes, you can go into different seeds and all that kind of stuff. If you've played Java Minecraft before, you know all this kind of stuff. So I'm not really teaching you how to play Java Minecraft. I'm just teaching you how to set it up and get it going on your Steam Deck. And here we go. Now again, there's also some performance mods and mod packs that you can check out, which is going to be part of the playlist. Don't forget to check that out if you wanna see some of that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna mess around with some shaders and all that kind of stuff too. I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to play with that. And also maybe some different mods and everything like that as well. I would love to see uh, certain mods being played on this thing just to see what it does to it because the Steam Deck is not a Windows device. And there's certain like horror mods out there that do things to Windows devices. And I don't think it does the same thing to the Steam Deck. So 
yeah there we go guys now you can play java minecraft on your steam deck and again like i said if you have this actually on your main screen you can use the touch like i did in the intro of the script of the actual video and you can mess around with enjoying just playing minecraft java edition instead of bedrock edition on your steam deck because there's a lot of people that actually play the java edition over bedrock edition you'd be pretty surprised enjoy don't forget to check out the playlist because i'm gonna have more videos coming out for that and have fun playing java minecraft without pressing the full screen button on your steam deck in 2025 or beyond because i'm sure this will still be available in 2026 Bye -bye. oh if you want to get rid of that look around with your mouse just use your mouse on your actual steam deck